My brethren, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in a 38-person free-for-all battle, but you'll notice one striking difference. I am not Corgi Circus. I'm Secret Agent Man. That's right, I've been slandered, slandered constantly. The subject of just absolute brutality of people accusing me of only winning because I uh, have Corgi Circus in my name and people want to help out a YouTuber. How dare you? I have at least... 5% skill and <laughs> I want to show that off today show that I could win without the corgi name So we're gonna go into this we have a decent starting spot We do have a lot of neighbors, but there are 35 players in this Caucasian map. So we're gonna have to see how things go And just kind of look for things from here. We do have Ohio polls WW3 Canada and Alamo So we're about to enter infinite growth. So let's go ahead and hit that real hard and make sure that we don't miss a beat Oh, we do miss a beat oh, There we go. That one won't miss that one won't miss keep going yeah, that one's good. Give it one more just for good luck. And there we go. We're out of troops. We're out of land to expand. Let's go into these bots. Let's try and cut off Ohio as soon as possible. I will fight through this bot to try and secure that as well. There we go. Let's go into Helga. Nina. This guy's saving up a little bit. I think he kind of recognizes what I'm trying to do. I would say doing it rather effectively. As we do manage to cut him off from going down south. And no, I don't know about worrying about up north as much. Let's just go ahead and grab this land. We are going to be in the middle, suffering from kind of being in the, too much of the middle syndrome. But that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and grab this bot and this bot. And finish up down here. And we're looking pretty strong. We could go into Ohio right away. I'm just a little bit worried about that. Yeah, he's got 60,000. Let's save up. I will take a truce with Canada and just kind of save up from here. Ohio offers a truce. I'll take a truce with Ohio. Poles will also take a truce with these two are very cautious about taking out this bot and touching borders, but they finally agree to do it. Now, taking out Ohio would be a really good move for me. Uh, he's not in the top 10. Where is he? He's 15th over. Oh, he's attacking Poland right away. You madman. You madman. He wants me to go down south. He's like, leave the Poles to me. <laughs> well, we're just going to keep saving up, and then we'll go into Ohio here shortly. I think getting at red interest is going to be very nice, but honestly, at this point, we have 800,000. Let's go ahead and give a little bit of a counter attack ourselves and just see how much of this land we can get he does full send which is great so we can get most of the land cutting off poles there and down he goes so as you can see sometimes you get lucky even when people don't know who you are and we got second place out of that so a pretty good move a big opponent to take down where is the crown he's over there and rather strong so we're going to need to kind of push through some people right away and i kind of like having poland over here let's give him a heart and say we'll be friends forever and i would like to go down into this guy down here yeah france i'll take a truce with you so let's get to red interest and then start going down this on this guy this alamute and start taking him down because i'd really love to push through all these weak players down here that's kind of the goal i can leave canada i can leave poles i think austria and these two will eventually clash where alamute i feel like will eventually uh no 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 we're gonna go after this guy i'm gonna say this guy as well let's leave poles for now if France wants to join in, that'd be very helpful. We're at 4 million. Canada's in. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's just continue saving up. Although that guy's at 70,000. I think we need to go a little bit sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead and start attacking this guy. Canada's in. A lot of emoting. Do appreciate that. Austria was going to go in on poles. That's fine. We can scrape up on both and just keep pushing into Alamute. France is not helping. Canada's not helping as well. I need to stop trusting people named Canada. That's for sure. Yeah, Poles is going down mightily fast, but we're still at red interest, just chipping away at this guy, making him smaller and smaller every few cycles. And here comes another opportunity, and we'll just keep knocking him down a little bit. France is going to be a bit of a more of a challenge. He's actually growing rather strong. Canada's abandoned Alamute. He's given the uh, the, the sleeping sign. It's like, hey, this is a battle of attrition. Don't worry about me. I'll get to, I'll get you down eventually. Just keep pushing it home. Oh, he does full send on Canada. Let's go. Oh, Canada, you don't escape it. So we do get a bunch of land out of that. Still in second place. This guy's an absolute beast. We're really going to have to... Oh, Canada, full sends. Let's grab off his land. Oh, thank you, Canada. I do appreciate you. And now I think we go after Poles and start knocking him down because we do need to kind of start moving a little bit fast. I think France might be a good person to preserve in fighting against the crown. So let's do that. Let's just kind of make this our play for the time being and taking out poles and there is full sending allowed but at this point i'm not concerned with it as we almost have the crown ourselves we're not that far off so i don't need to panic that much about what's happening france down here 
It's becoming rather strong. Corgi Circus Dung USA. Okay. <laughs> That's a name. That's a name if I ever heard one. Let's go into Austria. Let's just keep pushing. This guy's coming over and over, so I do want to kind of be ready to fight him. France is not going to be at a position to help me fight, so let's go ahead and grab as much of this land. You are going to cut me off, which is going to be really good, so I can push into this guy without having to fear retribution. Let's push down south a little bit, push up north. Just get some footholds on this side of the river. And let's push into this guy right now. As these two are fighting, which is really good. Because I can get over to the crown. Oh, I'm the crown. Ooh, juicy. Okay. Let's go ahead and push through you. Give a truce to you. And yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I just got to get through this guy. He's a little bit more resilient than I gave him credit for. This blue player's in. He full sends us. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and push through this. And start attacking you right away. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Grab this spot right here. Yep, truce. France has so far been a friend. So now we have this guy. Let's go ahead and attack. Every time he attacks, I'm going to counterattack. Oh, no. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. Corgi. No, not like this. I can't call him off. The hounds, they're out of control. Well, let's just keep pushing in the second strongest player as everybody's going really ham on this guy. He's finally counterattacking us, which is fine. We've got a 20,000 pixel advantage, and he's really aggressive with the boats. He's not very good with his conserving his troops, so we might get a little bit more free reign over here. If the blue player starts attacking us, then we'll start to reconsider our life choices, but let's give him up, see if he wants a truce. Corgi is always under the truce, right? That's a thing. Let's just keep pushing into this man. He regained a lot of the land we've taken away from him. France is attacking me. France. No, don't do that, brother. Bots down there. Okay. So let's keep going into this guy. Start whittling him down. This Corgi Circus player is playing rather well. It's a shame France decided to start attacking us. I imagine this guy is also going to... Let's try and truce with him. Just keep the pressure on. Let's send a little boat of our own. Over to our buddy. Say, hey, we can boat too. Boating's fun. Keep the pressure up. We've extended our lead to 40,000 pixels. So we're still looking pretty good. Uh, I am doing that, my friend. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. I am here for you. France is still attacking us. We're just going to ignore that for now and just keep the pressure up on this guy. As long as Corgi over here, give a heart, uh, doesn't attack us. We have a strong chance, but how ironic would it be if I'm playing undercover and a Corgi takes us out? But he gives us the heart back, so maybe, maybe he'll be our friend. Oh, he's pushing into that guy. He's being really smart and just kind of playing neutrally and not having to worry about players kind of taking out or taking out the weak players and not getting involved in the, the big dog fights. Now, if he does betray us, it's going to happen right now, but we'll just keep up the pressure here. He's got a lot of land to gain, and he still has France as kind of a backup contingency plan as an ally because France has been attacking me. This guy's saving up to maximum interest, which is a little bit spooks. We'll just keep the pressure in on this guy. I'm going to give you the heart. And I'm going to say second place. You, we'll, Either one of us win, we'll, we'll give it to each other. That'll be perfectly fine. Stop boating in. It doesn't do as much as you think. It wastes troops. <laughs> it's just annoying to look at. Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in. Okay, so he's going in over there wisely, allowing me to kind of bait out the full send, if you will. We can start attacking a little bit more aggressively. We don't have too much of a lead on him. Only 20,000. So he's actually going to take the crown away from us. It'll be about who France full sends. And I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you. Now that those two are fighting, I'm going to take out France really stealthily. This is the boat right here. And as soon as that boat lands, we're going to go straight into this guy. He's wanting me to attack the, the circus. I'm just showing him that I'm still attacking, but secretly I'm going into France. See if I can secure a lot of this land away from him. Land. Land that boat. Yeah, I'm still in. Yeah, we're in this together. We're at, yeah, charge. Charge, brother. And the great thing about this boat is he's not going to be able to kick it off because I have shared borders with him elsewhere. So let's try and pull a little trickaroo. France does become a bot, which means he's going to attack very aggressively. So we don't need to super concern ourselves with it right now as the bot goes heavy on our boy. Let's go ahead and grab as much of this land as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how much of a lead did that give us? About... Uh, 50,000. Okay. So now we'll just keep pushing into this guy. We're not going to be able to do any kind of boat strats, but we can sneakily grab some of these islands right here before he has the opportunity to get them. And now we just need to push very heavily. Let's go ahead and hope our boy stays true and that we're just land racing. 
Oh, this is what I call pod racing. Okay, is it going to be enough? We have a 60,000 pixel advantage. Oh, and it's just enough. We'll give him the, the claps, the handshake, the kissy face for the boys, kissy face for the boys, and we'll look to peace out from here. So GG's to my boy Corgi. And look at that. I befriended a Corgi without having the Corgi name. No one knows this. No one knows who I am. I'm a secret agent man. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of one-off video. And if you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.